Okay, this lab covers server-side template injection using documentation. Now, if you're not familiar with the SSTI, check out my first video below. That goes through some basic discovery methodology and exploitation methodology. But let's go ahead and dive right into this lab. So for this lab, we can see that we have credentials, and then from there we need to discover the template engine and then execute arbitrary code to remove a file. So we'll go ahead and dive in the lab and log as the log in as the user content manager with the password content manager and lead speak here. So we'll click on my account. We go to content hyphen manager and then paste our password. And then from there we have update email. Um, let's go ahead and go to the home page and see if there's any additional functionality from the view details section. And then from here we have edit template. So the nice part about this is it immediately returns the contents of the template, including these templating expressions that when evaluated return the contents of product.stock, product.name, etc. So what we can do is we can actually delete all of the unnecessary data. And of course, in a production application, you're going to want to make sure that you save a backup of anything or in an actual pen test, you want to make sure you save a backup of anything that you might be editing. But luckily, in this case, there's a preview button. So if we click preview, you'll see it sends a post request with the CSRF token and the template and actually evaluates it and shows us the response here. So what we can do first is we can try to trigger an error condition. So instead of product.stock, we'll do product something that doesn't exist. We click preview and we see the application responds with an error. And within that error, we can actually discover the templating engine in use. So we can see that free markers in use here. So if we hop back to Hacktricks and we search for free marker, you can see that there's some payloads here that we could leverage to try to execute uh, arbitrary commands. So if we copy this first payload, we jump back to our lab and we just go ahead and delete this and paste that here, you can see that what this is doing is it's using that free marker template to execute the ID command. So if I preview that, it should execute and we get the ID of Carlos. So we can do a PWD to get the present working directory, click preview, home Carlos, and then we can just remove morale.txt, which is the goal of this lab. And if we click preview, it should remove that file because that templating engine looks at this expression and evaluates it and removes the file. So again, the workflow here is we need to first discover where inputs reflected, which was in this actual post itself, and then second, enumerate the template version. So we saw that dollar sign curly brackets was in use, so we could enumerate it there. But if the application returns errors, it's really useful to just trigger an error condition and then look for the templating engine error within there and then find the templating engine from there. In that case, we found it was free marker and we went to publicly available payloads. And if we didn't have those payloads available, we'd have to get really crafty and see what type of objects and functions within the object we have control over. But in this case, because we have a published payload, it works super easy and lets us complete the lab. Well, that's all I got for this video. If you want any more from me, you can check me out on twitch.tv forward slash gar underscore seven. Every Monday and Thursday, I do educational live streams and giveaways, so I'd love to see you there. If you learned something from this video or if you have any feedback at all, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. But other than that, hope to see you next time. Thanks again.